Hello and welcome to the Drofior Gaming Channel. I am your host Drofior and this is Baldur's Gate 3. And we're picking up right where we left off in the in the last video. We're going to go ahead and do a long rest. Go to camp and end the day. Because we got somewhat beat up in that last battle. Struggled to stay alive for a while but like I said was able to use that doorway to our advantage so we were able to come out on top. Oh, come on. Dodging in a spot of vanity. Handsome devil, aren't I? Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Well, the base word be a morph, meaning change. I guess. <laughs> yeah, if you want to start a late ceremony, no, Long start. story short, then. Thanks to the tadpole, we should have developed more than invasive symptoms by now. But we haven't. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree, this is... abnormal. Okay. Yo, so can you explain why the symptoms aren't showing? That, alas, is where my knowledge fails me. A rogue well, might call useless. it luck, a priest might call it fate. As for myself, I'm a pragmatic. I see the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. To you fucking interrupted me. Alright. I want to have a look in this chest real quick just to make sure. I know I sent some, some gold over here. I want to pick that up and... Let's have a look. It's not too much yet, which is good. <clears throat> yeah, let's look around a little bit. I haven't looked around. I don't see anything different. I know things change as more people come to your little shindig here. Alright, let's go ahead and Go to bed. Now we got all spell slot spell slots restored, and we are ready to go. All health pulled up. Let's have a look around this room real quick. Maybe there's a scroll. Sometimes you find scrolls in those piles of books. I always hope that I find a book that, that like some random book that um, leads to like a, a side quest or something. Have yet to find anything like that. I think. Unless it was given to me by an NPC or something, I think. Okay. I don't want to go that way yet. I know it's that way. That's the way if you if you were coming this direction from the other way. I don't know, I guess it's kinda hard to explain. I came that way last time, so I'm trying to say.
Man, I searched all these bookcases. Hold on, here's a few more. Okay, I'll say it again. I've searched all these bookcases and not found our books, rows of books and bookshelves and stuff, and not found a single flipping bu flipping book. It, but you can see the books there. They're saying there's not one. All right, let's look at this one. And then we'll have a look at this one. Okay. So what's the purpose of this area? I can't remember. Oh, that was a store right here. Okay, so maybe you would not have been able to pick that door from this side or something. Hmm. Alright, let's see what we got. Place wasn't built for the living. Scroll of Silence, that's definitely going to Gale. I don't think he knows that one or this uh, spell. I don't know if we'll spend the gold right now for him to pick those spells up, but. In fact, all these gonna, are gonna go to Gale. We'll also sell them from his character and transfer any gold found back to Thomir or gold. Uh, made all the money's made it's heavy oak doors and they're locked okay what's this way heavy oak doors and they're not locked There's a spear in there that I don't even want, to be honest. And I think as long as we don't mess with this sarcophagus, mm, what's that? Want none of the uh, want none of the traps to kick off. That's what I'm thinking. Pretty sure that's the case. Otherwise, I would have kicked off by now, right? Ooh. That's curious. Look, my my guy's perception check keeps failing. <laughs> keeps failing. Everybody else is seeing all kind of stuff. Okay. Was there another way to go back here? Yeah, it looks like a door right here. Oh, is that the way I came? Yeah, that's the way I came in it. Okay. It's 
silver star and can unlock it. And he did. Okay. I remember this spot, but before I go that direction, I still want to go back the other way. Reason why? Because over there is where we meet, like, the ancient... I don't know what to call them. The ancient, um... Skeleton dude. Like the undead guy. And he eventually comes... Is it just... Well, that sucks. Okay. First. Okay. It won't show me any details about the door. It means it's not like one you can take damage. See that one you can examine and it'll show you this vulnerable to slashing or vulnerable to fire. Force. If that don't come up, it's a door you can't like break through. If you were to run out of lockpicks by chance. Okay. Armed scribes. No sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. All these guys are gonna come alive and we're gonna have to fight them. I'm gonna loot them first though. I really don't want that quarter staff, but I don't want you to have it when you wake up either, so that's that. Okay. I think this is even a different way you could get in. I think that's the way we're gonna go back out right there. another guy right here check him out ooh burning hands I don't know if Gail knows that yet or not but that's the spell that fucked us up in the last battle I kind of wonder if we could go ahead and and fight these guys. That'd probably glitch the game or something. I don't want to try that. Like attack those skeletons while they're still laying down right now. Another scroll of silence. Happy key. Okay. Do I remember finding that? I really don't remember finding that heavy key. But I found so many keys. It's kind of hard to say. Look at that. Jurgle, the scribe of the dead. This chapel must be ancient. Description is in a language unknown to you. What about Gail? The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Well, whatever. All right, I think that's enough. We're gonna go ahead and check these last few vases, and then move around to open up the chamber. Just gonna kick off the little battle we got. Yeah, we got plenty of time for that. We're going to try to get around here and we're going to do perception checks. Right? Mm, what's there we that? Go.
Well, right then. Hey, I'll get up. Something just woke up down here. Let them come. The darkness can be to our advantage. Okay. This really ain't too tough of a battle, to be honest. There's just several of them. It wasn't before. I don't know. They may, they may have uh, made changes to it. There's another guy right up here. We're going to be able to get a shot on him, too. Nice. That was nice damage. Alright. Now, Thormir... Gonna move up. Get a ranged attack off on the Untuned Warrior, maybe. No. Scribe. How do you miss a 94% chance to hit? I'll be honest, that's not even fair. Oh, and one thing I forgot to do is figure out how come a star in was doing so freaking terrible with his attacks. Move her in there. Oh, general updated? Okay. So let's move him right here. Have him take a ranged attack on. There we go. And then we'll throw. Oh, that's gotta be action. Okay. Oh, put. Put Thormir to sleep. Piece shit. Ignis. Hey. It does good damage to those uh, scribes, not so much to the warrior. Firebolt. Missed. That was uh, quite a bit of damage. And then Intended. Ooh. Did I get turn undead? I did. I forgot about that. That'll be useful right here. Forty five percent chance to hit. Mm -hmm -hmm. Not seventy. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Eight, eight hit points. You're retarded. Elves can't be put to sleep. Okay, that's probably... Magic missiles. Ah, oh, he used magic missiles. Ignis. That's terrible. Oh, I missed with the second attack. But he better not move though. 
or Gail's just gonna have to uh, come back here and not you though. I need to check out his equipment. Well, that screwed me. Because I want a gale to come back here and help a star in. I mean, a uh, shutter heart. Seven. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do basic attack and then we're gonna do well, I guess that's all we can do Okay Somebody No, see he'll hit me They must be out of spell slots or something. Cause help is a help is an action. Ah, uh, and I don't have a bonus action to be able to. I'm just gonna risk it for the biscuit. Oh, that wasn't smart. Went the wrong way. We got it done though. Oh man. Yeah, we're gonna get backstab on him. One D four. One D six. Okay, they're both the same. Doesn't really matter, does it? We're still gonna do our backhand. And our main attack is gonna be on this individual. There we go. There we go. Two kills in one turn. Okay, she's barely alive, but she does have her one spell slot. And she'd be better off using that spell slot for a healing word on herself, I think. And then after that, doing a ranged attack on this guy. That sounds like a plan right there. And then we'll move into here to make sure she doesn't get hit any further. Now then, we're just gonna straight dual wield attack this individual. Ooh, didn't expect that. Good job, uh, a star in. Miss, complete miss. Nice. Still got three spell slots with him. That means my learn. Sp I'm 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 using cantrips. My learn spells are garbage. Essentially, is what that means. Fifty-six percent because I'm on the low ground. We still did five damage. Okay. <clears throat> She's got five health. I might as well just move her out here and see if she can take a shot. Or get a shot off on him. Take the shot. Alright, whatever. Just wait. Hmm.
Uh, not close enough, huh? Not close enough to do that either. But I can dash. And then come up here and hit you. From over here even. And get backstab on you. For one damage. Just to aggravate you is what that is. It's just for aggravation. Can't quite do that. We're just gonna do witch bolt. Okay. Just out of curiosity, did these guys have anything? No, I already got it, huh? Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty baubles. Fools. I agree. Their trinkets may be worth a few coins all the same. All right, now, wait a minute, he's gold. Scimitar. I just wanna see, um, can we do a will with a Scimitar to be honest? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Don't judge me, let's see. Yeah, we could do that. I'm gonna do that. Look at there, I've been just carrying around this stuff for no reason. Not yet. These are long swords anyway, ain't they? Uh, even if I just gotta give him two daggers for him to be more proficient with them. Got another dagger right there. All right. Now let's quickly look at a star and stuff. He got a hand axe, hand axe, and a dagger, and he can use both of those. Why is he? Why is he doing so terribly? I don't know. Did he get nerfed? <laughs> Cause Starin has no health potions, neither does Gale. We already know burning hands. We need to um put that on a hot bar. Cause the other ones that we know. Put that one down there, one we still need to learn. The rest of these over here will are syllables. Yeah, when we, when we get to go do our next uh, long rest, after we talk to this dude, we're definitely going to rearrange people's spells. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Speak with the dead. Uh... I guess we'll put that on. Put this kind of in the middle somewhere. Probably won't use it. Maybe. I've never tried it. I've never been able to get this to work, to be honest. But whatever. Shits and giggles, right? Light all the candles. Read the plaque. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Atonement, huh?
wonder where the audio went with the So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Hmm. Yeah, a little spig bag crawling out of the tomb, but what are you? I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? Yeah. So, I ask again. What is the worth of a single mortal life? Depends on the mortal. I am curious by what standards thou shalt judge. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Okay. Shadowheart was trying to get into a building and look for supplies. We didn't find shit in here, Shadowheart. Has it been? Not really. I mean, seriously. We searched the whole library and found zero freaking books. Oh, I remember something. Little, I remember something, though. <clears throat> In this room, there's something over here. First, gonna cut this candle on. Looks like someone wanted to bury their secrets. But I'm pretty sure. Our main character won't be able to pass all the checks needed. Maybe Gail could? Should I read the book with Gail? Hmm. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. Let's read the book with Gail. He's got higher wisdom stats, I think. His wisdom is at 11, 13, 16. Let's read it with a shadow heart. In fact. This book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive log. Channel a spark of design power into the lock. Let's do that. Hey. As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated scroll. You have a sense these are names, a list. But of what? Hmm. She's also proficient in religion. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nine. That might be a tough one. Ah, uh, we missed it. See? Should have saved first. Ooh, let's try again. Nice. Gods. These are the names of gods. Once lost. But now restored after the second sundering. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. 
Scroll of Ray Enfeeblement. Okay. Send it to Gale. As well as that one. Gotta try to get everything spread out evenly here. Oh, I like this better. Okay. Not in. Make sure everybody's got their potions on their hot bars and they're locked. Oh man, that was stupid. That was that was terrible. All right, let's not do the long rest after we wasted that. Freaking potion. Well, all right. Nobody has anything to say or anything like that, so. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, spells. There we go. No. Which ones am I not using? I'm not using fog, I know. Put magic missile on. I'm not using mage armor. Put burning hands on. There we go. That's how we're gonna do it. My level's too low to learn this one. We'll put it down here with that one. Same as this one. Okay. Action and spell slot, both of them. Okay. Is there anybody else I wanted to do anything with? Um, no, I think she's fine. She's okay. Still don't know why he sucks so bad. We got better light armor, don't we? He's 11. Let's go over here and look. Yeah, let's see. Short sword. Let's see if he can do that. Okay, let's unequip that, and that as well. Put the short sword in one hand, put this short sword, there we go. 11, they're the same. I don't like his though, I'm gonna put these on. Okay. And that's how we're gonna roll right there. So both of Thormir and Astarian is both dual wielding short swords. Kale's got his spells sorted out. Uh 
So I accidentally hit my mic. All right. And that's that. The dank crypt is completed. <clears throat> I think. I feel like there was more to it last time. Let's see what's up here. I really do feel like there was more to it last time. completed the quest though either way so I don't want to waste time a whole lot of time going down through that whole dungeon just to see if there was something else we missed so we're gonna call that good we're gonna say that's a that's a W what's our, what's our uh, log look like here it's telling to remove the pas parasite so Lizelle is the only one that we've got any contact with that knows anything but I don't want to fuck with Lazel. I don't like Lazel. Uh, yeah. So this playthrough. Oh, here's this guy. We never did get to check him out. What you got? Nice. Send this to a star in because he's our he's our thieving guy. There we go. Yeah, so we're going to move forward. We're going to go ahead and go to... I th we're going to skip a star, and I know if I go up under this underpass, you got to go right by him. But if I come around this way, I don't got to go by him. See? And this is just for shits and giggles, you know? This is just uh, still early access. Just now patch three with a little hot fix, hot fix on the patch. The hot fix was supposed to address some of the camera, the, the, the clunky and funky camera. Um, I'm gonna try to say the things that happen with the camera, you know, like with the walls where it'll throw your camera to another elevation for a second and then, you know, different stuff like that. I hear shouting up ahead. What the hell is all that? Hmm. Okay. I think we're gonna go ahead and end it there, and in the next the next episode, we're gonna go up here and come up here and investigate this shot and see what we got going on. Cause we're a little bit long on this video to engage in another interaction or battle, whatever's about to happen. I can't remember. I'm, I think I know what's about to happen, but I'm not 100 sure. But um. Either way, I appreciate any support on the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope to see all of you in the next episode.